If you asked any parent during Pokemania what exactly Pokemon is, you'd likely get a variety of responses. A video game, a card game, an anime, a t-shirt design, a lunchbox. Pokemon has always been a concept, or more recently a lifestyle brand, rather than one singular story. In the anime, Ash wants to become a Pokemon master but the rest can be changed, even how the entire show looks and feels. In the last five to six years, Pokemon has been trying plenty of new things both in front of the camera and behind the scenes, culminating in the new 2019 series which sees Ash exploring the entire Pokemon world. In its first 15 years of airing, the Pokemon anime has been mainly finding its footing. Outside of stuff like Pokemon Chronicles, the anime generally follows Ash, Misty and Brock on an adventure to beat the Pokemon League, meeting new friends along the way. In advanced, they replaced Misty with May, adding contests into the mix, and behind the scenes, they were moving to digital colouring instead of cell painting. In fact, they were artificially adding visual noise to the digital images and slowly taking the way so that fans didn't feel too put off by what was a major change at that time. In the Best Wishes series, the narrative took its biggest jump with an entirely new supporting cast and the biggest soft reset since the story began. And then in XY, the show took yet another big step. It was an anime evolution, taking the series and movies' as experience with 3D and turning them into major features of battles and performances. This allowed the creation of pipelines in which 2D animators would be able to create action with dynamic camera movements without having to hand draw the moving backgrounds themselves. At the same time, according to an interview with animator Masaki Iwane, XY increased the amount of original drawings per episode by 20 to 30%, making the action that much more exciting than previous series. But even with these improvements, the animation outside of the battles was limited. The solution to this was a big one. Sun and Moon controversially had Ash undertake a big redesign and behind the scenes, OLM was investing in new digital pipelines that would improve efficiency in some parts of production. That said, it wasn't a complete conversion and paper animation is still used for Pokemon. Like with the games, the series took a step away from gym battles and with a larger cast, was able to deliver on some great character stories and even revisit Brock and Misty in some action-packed episodes. Sun and Moon is the best the anime series has ever looked, and it was able to deliver on a wider range of episode stories. This is where the previously mentioned Masaki Iwane, a top Pokemon animator who was able to key animate entire episodes by himself, created some of his best work. Up until Sun and Moon, the tradition had been that whilst the series is running, a separate production team would work on a film that vaguely fits into the story. If Best Wishes is running, there'd be a movie with Iris and Silent. If Master Quest is running, we get an adventure with Brock and Misty and Johto. But with Sun and Moon, Hiroyuki Kato, the current animation producer for the TV series, took over the films as well. The result has been years of trying brand new things. Pokemon I Choose You was set in a parallel world World, with dream sequences where Pokemon no longer exist, a talking Pikachu, and the follow-up to a Ho-Oh subplot introduced in the first episode in 1997. Ash's new design took the original from Indigo Plateau and modernised it. A year later, Pokemon The Power of Us took the focus away from Ash, instead focusing on a living town of people, their problems, and how they come together to solve them. This was produced in collaboration with Attack on Titan's Wit Studio, with character designs by Shizue Kaneko. I interviewed Kaneko earlier this year and she said that she aimed to create designs with a soft and gentle atmosphere with realistic clothing choices. Personally speaking, this is the best Pokemon film. And this year, the Pokemon series took yet another ambitious step, this time creating an entirely 3D film. With the help of Sprite Animation Studios and the director of Final Fantasy The Spirits Within, they created a remake of Pokemon the first movie. It's far from perfect and doesn't really bring anything new to the table in terms of narrative, but the ambition to constantly try new things, adopt new styles, and not be afraid of failure is what keeps Pokemon from ever getting boring.
The newest series, titled simply Pocket Monsters in Japanese, has Ash explore the entire Pokemon world. In the past, the Pokemon brand has been obsessed with the steady progress from region to region and positioned their other properties to promote the game specifically. For instance, if the games are going to Johto, everything else goes to Johto. But that's not exactly necessary these days. In an interview with Bushy Rose founder in relation to the Bang Dream project, he said that whilst it used to be believed that an anime should be to promote the source material, these days things work more in harmony with the anime itself being promoted as well. With the focus no longer being directly promoting the games, the new series can open up a bit, just like the films, and have Ash do extraordinary things outside of the Gala region. In contrast to Sun and Moon's ensemble cast, this series is a two-man adventure with Ash and his new friend Gore, who is searching for the legendary Mew. But perhaps the most noticeable change for the series will be how it sounds. Ever since the Pokemon anime started, the score has been composed by Shinji Miyazaki. But starting with the Sword and Shield series, My Hero Academia composer Yuki Hayashi will be taking over. Personally, Hayashi is my favorite composer. He started out as a rhythmic gymnast, but got interested in creating music whilst at college, so all of his gymnast friends would ask him to create music for their performances. Eventually, he got so good at making music that he found a career in it, and now he's been able to add volleyball, Gundam battles, and Pokemon battles to the list of sports he can make even more exciting. Whilst no animation for this series has been shown yet, we did get a look at the new character designs by Sun and Moon character designer Shuhei Yasuda. This new Ash carries on the animation-friendly design sensibilities of the Sun and Moon series, whilst changing some of the facial features to closer match Ken Sugimori's style in the games. It's an incredibly good time to be a Pokemon fan. Not only does the anime have a killer team of animators, but the show's visual philosophy is one that asserts that the best designs are the ones that let animators do their best work efficiently. Whilst changes in technology and production methods have affected the Pokemon series to a degree, the largest changes are the result of an unrelenting respect for their animation staff and an undying pursuit of quality in every area.